Hi, my name is Amy and I'm the esthetician at the Woodruff Institute and today I'm going to be doing an advanced corrective peel on my patient. This is a great peel for her skin type because she's got some melasma throughout her lip and forehead. So we're going to start by cleansing her and degreasing the skin before we apply the peel. Okay, now I am using the equalizing toner to just tone her skin before I degrease it. So we are degreasing with a medical grade degreaser. This will help for the uh, peel solution to infuse further into the skin. We're going to apply some hydrobalm to the mucous membranes to protect um, from the peel getting into anything. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and apply her first layer of the advanced corrective peel. We are going to use a gauze to apply it and apply it quickly to the skin. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply a second coat now. We're going to avoid um, a few of the areas on around her mouth and her nose. She's feeling a little bit of heat there. And we're gonna go ahead and do another four minutes. Okay, so we've done the second layer. We're almost to our four minutes. She's feeling it all through her cheeks. Um, her right side is not pulling up as much red, so we're gonna do a third layer on the right and on par parts of her forehead. Okay, so we're being very careful where we put the third pass because she is definitely feeling it in multiple areas. And we're gonna go another four minutes with this last pass and she will start to cool down. We've done three passes on my patient's skin and she's feeling it and she's got um, some moderate erythema going on. So we are going to finish up with some physical sunscreen and a SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Gel. We have finished the treatment. This treatment took us about 25 minutes start to finish. Over the next few days, my patient's going to feel some dryness and tightness, followed by a few days of flakiness, peeling, and I want to see her back in two weeks for a dermaplaning procedure.